gracious good day to one and all once again. Tis I, Norton the First, by grace of God, Emperor of the United States, and Protector of Mexico, back with you once again for episode 81 of Emperor Norton's fantastic history vlog. Today is June 27, 2020. It is our 102nd day under COVID-19 restrictions. And as we do every Saturday, we welcome our special guest star, the Countess Lola Montez of Lansfeld. Good day, Countess. Good day, Your Majesty. And happy pride to all of you out there. And I hope you've tuned in and watched all of us in previous uh, uh, broadcasts, you might say. And it's wonderful to be back. It is indeed. It's a beautiful Saturday, isn't it? Yes, it's always a beautiful month of June to celebrate Pride. And this year especially, we're celebrating 50 years of LGBTQ Pride. That's right. Their first parades were held 50 years ago. That's right. We're here in San Francisco, but we're not having one this year. No, we're going to have a virtual one. And Indeed. for those of you in the Bay Area, please look towards Twin Peaks because the pink triangle up on Twin Peaks will be lit up tonight. And normally this would be Pink Saturday with the lesbian uh, and dyke march Indeed. it is. Indeed. So anyway, the focus this year is Black Lives Matter. And so we will continue with the struggle. Yes, indeed. Now, I was aware that some of the folks, you know, we encourage you to contact us and comment and all that. So uh, we posed a question earlier in the month for Gay Pride, you know, kind of a humorous thing. If, if someone asks you if you're gay, how do you respond? Oh, yes, yes. And so we had a few humorous responses to that. So, if someone asks me if you're gay, well, only on days that end with Y. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, I avoid giving straight answers anyway. <laughs> well, you know, I was addicted to the hokey pokey, but I turned myself around. <laughs> Anyhow... <laughs> So back to um, Pride Month, you know, last week we uh, had a whole list of books. There are many, many books and wonderful things written uh, in the queer community. And today, I will, and a lot of you responded and enjoyed that. So today I wanted to bring out a few more pieces from the library here at Shelter in Place and uh, suggested reading one of which was written by Randy Schiltz, and it's called Conduct Unbecoming and Gays and Lesbians in the U.S. Military. A wonderful book. Yes, Margaret Camelmer was, uh, you know, went through all these kind of issues for civil rights and that sort of thing. And oh my goodness, it's all in here. And Randy Schiltz, didn't he work for the Chronicle? He did indeed. Yes. He also wrote in the band played on. Well, he wrote this book also, The Mayor of Castro Street. Great book. Yes, The Life and Times of Harvey Milk. And here in San Francisco, it played a great deal for us. Uh, the Fabulous Sylvester by Joshua Gamson. And Sylvester was one of the coquettes. And he was a very, very special entertainer and performer not only was he in quasi drag or you know uh how does the term back in the day well i'd hesitate to use the terms we used to use but basically he messed with gender indeed so you get the idea he and, always dressed fabulous indeed. you know i believe if you look in the dictionary under the word fabulous sylvester would be sylvester, there yes. yes yes and he wrote songs in the disco era you make me feel mighty real. Great song. Yeah, a lot of us used to dance to that. So another wonderful book is The Empress is a Man. Stories from the life of Jose Saria, who was the widow Norton. Our beloved widow. Yes, written by Michael R. Gorman. This is a interesting book. And may Mama Jose rest in peace indeed. 
Yes. We talk about trailblazers. Jose was one of the early ones. Oh, indeed. Well, another one, Christine Jorgensen, a personal autobiography by Harry Benjamin, MD. Now, for those of you that have never heard of Christine Jorgensen, was the first male to female uh, transsexual. Yes. And was successful in having the operations in those early days. You see, back in the time, you know, a lot of people think that Pride started recently and yeah. pretty much the parades and the rainbow flag as we talked about earlier in the month. Yes, those things are relatively new according to the time line of history. But the struggle was much earlier on with people like Christina Jorgensen as well. And, um, you know, as we'll talk about in a few minutes, we'll talk about Stonewall. Another book that uh, is excellent is by Larry Kramer, who recently passed away. Mm -hmm. Reports from the Holocaust, the stories of an AIDS activist. Yes. Excellent book. Yes, indeed. And then another is The Trouble with Harry Hay. Now, Harry Hay was the founder of the Mattachine Society. And they got their name because back in the Middle Ages, you know, uh, there were gestures. And the gestures were the only ones that could speak out against the royalty and the kings and speak the truth. So a group of homosexuals got together and they decided they would call themselves the Mattachine Society. And then there was also the women that got together a lesbian group, and they call themselves the Daughters of Belitis. And uh, Del Martin and Phyllis Lyon Indeed. were in that originally, and we lost Del Martin recently. She's on the Rainbow Honor of Work, and I think Phyllis is still struggling. She's up in years. She just passed away recently. Oh, she just passed yeah, away. Is. Well, we're losing so many of our uh, pioneers, you might say. And these people were truly the pioneers. The Mattachine Society, Daughters, Daughters of Belitis, mm -hmm. they were the first LGBT organizations here in the United States. Indeed. Now, here's another book that came out in 1994, and it's called Out in America by Michael Goff and the staff of Out Magazine, and the foreword is by Margaret Camelmeyer which I just mentioned that book about conduct on becoming. But this is a very nice coffee table book, and it gives you a look at some of the pride parades and also the first attempts at passing uh, the Same-Sex Marriage Act in the early days. And, um, you know, Your Majesty and I probably know several of the people in here, and this is also around the time of the AIDS epidemic, so it's in there as well. Now, one of my other favorite books is Gay by the Bay. And if you could read that for me, Your Majesty. It is by Susan Stryker and Jim Van Buskirk. Yes. Wonderful writers. Lovely mm -hmm. book, this. <clears throat> yes. Lots of good pictures, too. So we have, you know, I mean, this is only the tip of the iceberg, so to, iceberg, so to speak, because, my goodness, um, the thing is, we uh, love to read, and it's good to uh, you know, be able to spend time with our books. They're like good friends. And um, there we go. Lovely that. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I was going to talk a little bit about Stonewall. Oh, yes. Well, that is what we yes. are uh, celebrating. Today. So, basically, uh, in 1966, there was a very small little bar called the Stonewall Inn that opened on Christopher Street in New York City in Greenwich Village. And it was run by the Mafia. Now, the thing is, there were other gay bars in New York. And you have to know in the history of the queer community that bars played a very important role of the time, that people felt safer there. It was a safe haven. And here, queer people could hang out uh, with... Um, they could hang out with uh, less fears of the law and judgment and persecution because the laws of the time was if you had three assigned gender 
articles on you. For example, a woman wearing pants and having short hair and men's shoes and a, a man's shirt, you could be arrested. Really? And the same for males that were wearing a dress and had jewelry and all that sort of thing. Uh, now, it just happened that back in 1969, and it was June 28th, that Judy Garland had just died. The funeral was the afternoon before. And so, you know, the stories go, now we, to, to know the truth, it's, we're not really sure if this influenced it or not, but Judy Garland had died, that's a fact, and a lot of gay men looked at her as an icon. However, this was much more about the civil rights that happened. And so here you have all these people coming into a bar that they had watered down drinks. It was a stinky little hole. I don't know if any of you out there have been to the Stonewall, but it was very, very um, not high class. Seedy. You know, It was seedy, yes, but it was a safer place to go. And there were bribes paid to the police by the owners and they would get tipped off if they were going to have a raid. But one particular night, on the night of June 28th of 1969, this night was different. And at 1.30 a.m., the police came and began a raid. Mm. Now, they were forcing people into the paddy wagons. And the stories go, and we don't know the complete truth, but the stories go that the bouncer there, her name was Stormy D. Laverie, and we think she was a lesbian. They were really roughing up the people, putting them into the paddy wagons and all that sort of thing. And she got tired of it. People were so tired of being harassed that she shouted out, why don't we do something? And with those five words, pennies began to fly Rocks were being thrown at the police and bricks. And the protest and all went for six days. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. And this sparked the attention of the media with for the civil rights. And the Mattachine came in and the Daughters of Belitis. Now, it was not until one year later in 1970, June 28th, 1970, that there were three parades. There was one called the Christopher Street Liberation in New York, mm -hmm. and there was one in Los Angeles and one in San Francisco. That was the very first. Now, we do know that back in the day, some of the people that regularly attended the Stonewall Inn was a lot of the transgender community. Marsha P. Johnson, Sylvia Rivera, and I mentioned uh, Stormy De La Verri. And then, of course, our local who lives here, I think in Oakland now, is Miss Major Griffin Gacy, which I had the honor of meeting Indeed, one year. She yes. was one of the Grand Marshals. So, you know, the interesting thing is we don't write history. History writes itself. Indeed it does. Yes. So we want to honor all those people. We want to keep on with the struggle. And evermore, we want to uh, celebrate all of the things of our diversity of community and our straight allies with us now. It has really grown into something. And I really am sad not to be in the parade this year and being out there waving to all of you and shaking hands. and Hopefully home. next year. Yes, hopefully next year. So stay safe until then so we can celebrate. Now, wouldn't it be fun to go back in time and celebrate because... In order to improve your memory, you must do unforgettable things. That's right. So I have my little crystal bowl well, let me, here. Let me hold this here so yes. you can, so can you see it works a little better. Here we go. All righty. So would you like to go back in time, Your Majesty? I would love to. Is this going to take us there? We'll do what we can. Make a lick a high, make a lick a ho. Think about where we go. Back to Stonewall. Say it with me, those of you watching. Back to Stonewall. Back to Stonewall. Back to Stonewall. <laughs>
That's amazing. Uh, where are we? I think we're back in 1969. Oh, how wonderful. We're at the Stonewall. Oh, I'm thirsty. Let's go in. All right. It's a little late, but I think they're still open. I need a drink. Me too. I just went to Judy's funeral yesterday afternoon. Oh, that was so upsetting. Yes. We're going to miss her. But let's go in and have a good time. Indeed. And dance the night away. What are we going to dance to? I don't know. What would you suggest? Let me put a quarter in the jukebox here. And we got news for you. Better listen, Miss Maggie, because you will learn some nights on Willow's behind. He's rising. Problems get low. According to our sources, what sources? Streets the place to go. Because tonight, for the first time, right about half past ten. For the first time in history, it's going to start raining men. It's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. Amen. I'm going to go out. I'm going to let my soul get absolutely soaking wet. Amen. Hallelujah, it's raining men. Every specimen. Tall, blonde, dark and lean, rough and tough and strong and mean. God bless Mother Nature, she's a single woman too. She took from the heavens, and she knew what she had to do. Now, she brought every angel to rearrange the sky. So that each and every woman can find the perfect guy. It's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. Amen. It's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. Amen. Mother Nature, she's a single woman too. She took from the heavens and she did what she had to do now. She brought every angel and rearranged the sky so that each and every woman could find the perfect guy. It's raining men. Problems get low According to our sources oh Streets the place to go Cause tonight for the first time Oops Tonight for the first time just about half past ten For the first time in history It's gonna start raining men It's raining men Hallelujah, it's raining men Amen It's raining men Hallelujah, it's raining men Amen It's raining men Hallelujah, it's raining men. Amen, it's raining men. 
Hallelujah, it's raining men. Amen, it's raining men. Oh, hallelujah, it's raining men. Amen. Oh, it stopped raining men. Or it's going to start again. No, we don't want it to. There we go. Oh, I was ready for a second rendition. But I don't think we better not. Countess, I think it's time to go back. Make a lick a high, make a lick a ho. What's your name, dear? Oh, my drag name? Take the name of a family pet and your favorite food and put them together. I'm Patches Artichoke. And so it shall be. Happy Pride again. Oh. Oh, we're back. Yes, we are. Wasn't that fun? Oh, that was delightful. And get you, Mary Jane, your majesty. What a time we had, eh? Mm -hmm. I saw a different side of you. People don't see that side very often. Well. well again, but we'll see. Yes, well, there we are, curious as we are. Mm. Well, Countess, that was a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Well, I want to wish everyone a happy pride out there and be safe. Indeed. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you. And that wraps it up for today. So until we meet again, we'll be back on Monday with the Ketchup Show. Stay safe. Stay inside. If you go outside, wear a mask. Don't be a baby. It protects you. It protects others. Don't take unproven cures. And be kind to one another. Until we see you again, a gracious good day. And happy Pride! <laughs>